816-728-7447. Again, 816-728-7447. You don't want to miss it. It's a great experience, great benefit uh, to the kingdom, and a great word that uh, God's going to use. Uh, it is uh, a faith conference, so uh, a lot of things will be how do you manifest, how do you uh, uh, get that uh, new business off the ground? How do you do things uh, that you need to get done, done? So it is a blessing. So again, that is October uh, the 16th in South Florida. So you probably need to stay over October the 15th. And uh, again, Prophetess uh, has that details for you at 816-728-7447. Last but not least, I, I'd love for you to join me next year, next year on uh uh, Norwegian escape to as we escape to Greece and Italy round trip from Rome we'll even stay a couple days in Rome uh, July 22nd for more details just call me at 816-3760590 uh, uh, again 816-3760590 and uh, you could always email me at uh, Adam at Glory Tours, uh, T, Glory Tours, I N T L dot com. And for more information, I'll send you out a, a video, uh, a flyer and a video about the cruise. Praise the Lord. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's get into this a little bit. I, I, uh, I titled this today, and if you're blessed by this message, don't forget to always sow to GBFIC. Uh, they continue to allow. Uh, this great content out and we want to continue to have it have it going towards you it is at um, cash app uh, dollar sign gbfic or if you want to sow straight into uh, me specifically you can do that at cash app uh, uh, dollar sign bishop adam so let's get right into it uh praise the lord go with me to the book of ezekiel the book of ezekiel chapter 36 and when you got it, just say amen. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about the state of the church. I, I'm kind of going to roll into it a little bit so that you can receive a, a breakthrough. You can get your miracle. You can get your deliverance. But more importantly, this is so that we can uh, create a, a new and glorious church without spot nor wrinkle. And we got to deal with things uh, that God is doing. I want to thank everybody again watching on Facebook Live or listening at uh, KPRT on the radio uh, because this is a great, this is something great. Uh, man, good morning, uh, Brother Alex, all the way from Miami, Florida. I will be there in October. Uh, we have to get together. Uh, so, and don't go on vacation. Don't, don't miss out on what God's going to do. I'll be there. Uh, Ezekiel 36 says, uh, Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord. First of all, I want, I want uh, Shalom, Sister Pat. What I want you to hear from this, this is coming directly from the prophetic voice of God. Sometimes you have to hear, uh, this is not something that was kind of uh, cleaned up by Ezekiel. Ezekiel was told to say this directly to the people. And uh, the prophets of old never really cleaned up what God was saying. He all They always said, Thus says the Lord directly, didn't try to make it clean. What, what I'm saying is I didn't soften the blow, didn't make it easy on the reader, didn't make it easy on the listener, did not make it easier on the person receiving the message. So when God is talking to you, stop trying to uh, uh, make it easy on for you to digest. No, when God is telling you something, and, and especially through the prophetic voice, you have to recognize that God is speaking in his uh, powerful, unheralded voice that will bring about a supernatural miracle. Thus says, uh, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, I do not this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. So wherever you went, uh, you have made God's name foul. You have made God's names off. You have made God's name wrong. So God, uh, uh, he said, now what I'm about to do, check this, what I'm about to do is 
for my name, uh, for my holy name's sake, for you to get my name right, for you to fix what you've been doing, for you to, uh, for me to get, uh, uh, get you out the way and put me in the rightful place because you have jacked up for so long. God is saying in the body of Christ right now, we have to stop using his name wrongly, stop uh, uh, messing up over his churches, stop uh, uh, doing things that don't belong in the body, in the church. We have to start walking in holiness and righteousness and not missing what God is saying. In this season, we can no longer allow foolishness to be coming from our pulpits, from our praise dancers, from our uh, uh, praise teams, from our dance uh, ministries. It has to be a God thing. That's what it says. He says, which you have profaned among the heathen, whither you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them. This is what's the worst thing that God, this is the worst indictment of the body of Christ, is that in the audience of un saved in the audience of heathens in the audience of non-believers we the body of christ this is what the text is saying it's not what i'm saying we the box uh, the body of christ has profaned god's name in their audience that means they've seen us act un unholy they've seen us act unrighteousness they've seen us act uh unbeholden of the calling that we've been called to do. We've seen the church look like uh, the the unrighteous. We've seen the church look unholy. This is what the Bible is saying. This is not what Bishop is saying. This is not what the prophetess is saying. This is what the word of God through Ezekiel is saying in that season. And it applies to now. We have to be careful Sister Lucy, we have to be careful, Sister Pat. We, and I'm not talking about we as the ones I'm naming. It's those uh, that we need to know that in the, the body of Christ, there are so many issues that make us look unrighteous in front of heathens. Compromise. Mm, I just said it. The church, I'm not talking specifically any church, I'm talking the church, say the church, just get that, the church can no longer, if they have been doing it, compromise in its integrity, compromise in who they are, compromise in their standards. That means the church has to look different than the, no, the social club down the street. The church has to look different than uh, the neighborhood YMCA. The church has to look different uh, than Big Daddy's Club in Miami, Florida. The, the church has to look different uh, uh, than uh, the Epicurean in Kansas City. The church has to look different uh, than anything that uh, is going on in the body of, uh, uh, in the world. We can no longer look like the world. We can't have a, a uh, all Saints night because we don't we want to have a a, a a Halloween party. We can't have uh, we can't have uh, bear talks uh, uh, with our parishioners. We can't do that. We can no longer compromise. This is about who we have to be to set us apart uh, from who we uh, from who we used to be. God said, you need to come up out of Egypt, not stay in Egypt mentality. We've been free from Egypt way too long. That's what took us too long to get to the promised land in the first place. Is Egypt still sticking on us? We need to get rid of that Egypt mentality. Let me say this again. No more compromise, my brothers and my sisters. That's what. It, let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. This is Again, this is the Lord speaking through Ezekiel. He said, Lord, uh, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. 
God is saying, my goal, why I built churches, my goal, why I made uh, holy places for you to uh, be, is so that you do not have to hang around and be around heathen folk. I'm going to put you in the promised land. I, uh, I can see it right now. Glory Bible Fellowship is out in Lee Summit. And uh, we're in the Lakewood area. And you can always come visit us at four, uh, uh, 470 Woods Chapel. Just come on 1126 Northeast Delta School Road. But I could see houses being around it owned by church folk. Why? Because I believe that God wants to have a glory land uh, around Glory Bible Fellowship in the National Church. Uh, just like if you uh, have a big church on Prospect, maybe God would make it prosperity land uh, on Prospect. What am I saying? I'm saying that God is getting ready to separate us out where we have our own grocery stores, huh? where we have our own lawyers, we have our own doctors, we have our own finances, we have our own banks, we have our own uh, mechanism uh, to continue to promote the body. We have to have uh, our own businesses. We have to have our own uh, recognition. We have to have our own understanding, a new, even a new system of how we communicate in midst of each other. Uh, when you, I love for a line that says, when you enter into glory land, uh, 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 these are houses uh, and residences and rental properties that were uh, that are only rented out to the saints of God. Could you imagine? No, no liquor stores, no uh, no smoke stores, and, and uh, no newsstands. Y'all know the newsstands I'm talking about. No, uh, uh, none of that stuff in there. Even the gas station don't give gouge you. And, and and sell liquor or anything like that. The gas station only sell fruit juices and and and, and regular stuff that we would need. God is saying in this season, I'm gonna separate you out so that you have your own economy. Let me keep reading because this is I know this may be above some people's heads. Not not y'all on the Facebook or on the radio, but in the spirit, I can see people saying, "Man, that's that's never gonna happen." I, I believe it's going to happen quickly. They said, when you when I do that, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? Ooh, God got down to the nitty gritty there. It's idolatry that caused us to make these decisions that we made. It's idolatry uh, that caused us to. Uh, make these choices that we made. The filthiness is greed. The filthiness is uh, uh, fornication. The filthiness is lust. And from I, our idols, our, our jobs, our, our cars, our, our uh, homes, our children, our spouses, whatever you make an idol, God says he's going to cleanse us from our idolatry. Woo! I feel clean already. I feel clean. I feel the body of Christ being clean already. I feel the body of Christ getting clean already. I feel the church getting clean already. Let's see what it let's see what it says. This is uh while you're getting clean, you might as well get the full car wash. Y'all know what I'm saying? If if you live in Grandview or you live anywhere near a gold car wash, there's the gold, uh, whatever it is, the 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 little weak one that's like nine dollars. And then it goes up from there. It's time for us to go big. I want you to type this in the thing. When it comes to cleaning every, everything about me, I plan to go big. I I, I plan to clean up uh, uh, my attitude. I plan to clean up my, uh, God, clean up my attitude. God, clean out my, uh, my heart. God, clean out my mind. God, clean out my spirit. Make everything that's uh, about me clean. I'm going big. See, I'm going big. I'm going big. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going big. Now they shouldn't get no extra publicity, but uh, they do a good job. I say I'm going big. I'm going big. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I'll give you a heart of flesh. Look to I I, I just said I love that. He's getting ready to get rid of my stony heart and give me a heart of flesh. 
I'm getting ready to get my heart back. Uh, I'm starting to love again. I'm starting to trust again. I'm starting to get go big in cleaning me because God is getting ready to take away the, the places that have been so rock solid in who I used to be and rock solid in who I I was. And now God is chiseling away at my heart so that I could love again, chiseling away at my heart so I could trust again, chiseling away at my heart so I don't have bitterness anymore, chiseling away at my heart so I don't desire to fornicate, don't desire to have lust anymore, chiseling away at my heart so I can uh, really stop ha well, having selfish motives and wanting to be about me. Now I want to be about God and his people. Everything that God, uh, that caused me to have a hardened heart, God is saying he is chiseling it away from us. God is making, uh, we are going big. Say we're going big, getting a new heart, a, 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 a new spirit. Everything's going to be fresh. We're going big. We're going big. We're going big. The Bible says, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them. God is saying in this season, he is making everything right. He's turning it around for you. You're getting your miracle. You're getting your thing, your, your transformation. And the only way he could do it, first, he had to change your heart first. He got to get your heart right. In this season, it's time to get the body of Christ's heart right. It's time to get the church's heart right. We are so fractioned. Matter of fact, the the over the last year and a half, two years, we found out the church is more divisive than ever. We've been more divided than ever. Why? Uh, uh, we're divided on the election. We're divided on uh, 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 vaccinations. We're divided on uh, color. We're divided on doctrine. We're divided on uh, uh, things that are biblically based and sound. And so we split our churches and, and God is not happy. Uh, and, and he's caused us to reevaluate who we are in the body. Man, I, I agree, Sister Debbie D. This is, uh, in, this is the season. This is my... Uh, Debbie D from the uh, uh, KCP, uh, KPRT radio does a morning radio show and she's listening in and she says she was just saying that two days ago. This, when God is speaking, he's not just speaking to me. He's speaking to all of us. But what are we hearing is the key. The church, I, I I never understood this. Even Paul dealt with it in the book of Ephesians. One mind, one spirit, one Lord. It, why we got to be so divided? There's so much nonsense out there that keeps us separated instead of a, the love of God that keeps us united. <sighs> My God. Let, let, let's, let, let me keep reading because when God cleans us out, there is some benefits of getting clean. There are some benefits of being clean. Yes, we are, Brother Alex. Let's let's read this. Bible says, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave, gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God, and I will save you from all your uncleanness. Okay, thank you, God, for saving us, making us clean, making us whole, cleaning up the body of Christ. Then he says, and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. When we, the church, get this right, the church will be self-sufficient and not needing to draw down or go to a bank or we'll be able to uh, finance any expansion needs, be able to finance any outreach programs, to be able to finance any uh, missions program uh, because God's going to send us uh, the increase. God wants the, our bodies right so that we're on one accord with the mission. The mission and the vision of God is 
for everybody to be saved. How do we get that message out? That we do it unitedly. The reason why people don't join churches and the people why the people the reason why people don't uh connect with a local body is because uh there is so much misinformation, so much uh wrongful doctrine, so much uh bad uh uh, uh spokesmen for the body of Christ that people don't don't want to follow that. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh wrong stuff even on TV that would cause, if I was not knowledgeable enough in the gospel, would cause me to miss it. Oof. I think I got about four minutes. I'm going to use it all. He said, look at this. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and increase the field, and you shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. There'll be no dryness in the land. You will no longer ha have a famine. Just say, because I'm going big, if you go big, there's no famine. If you go big in your transformation, if you go big in your uh, in your re renewal, if you go big in your revival, if you go big in the restoration, if you go big, God's saying there's no more famine in your life. If you don't get anything today, knowing that when you get cleaned up by God, because you seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. So if you go big, God is saying, you'll never have a famine again. You'll never be dry. I believe in this season, I'm ready to never have a famine again. Oof. Then shall ye Remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and you shall loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abomination. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord, be it known unto you, be ashamed and confound for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, in that in the day I shall have you cleansed from all your iniquities. I will also cause you to dwell in the cities and the waste shall be built and the desolate land shall be tilled. Where is it laid desolate in all the eyes of all that pass by? And they shall say, this land was desolate is become like the garden of Eden. God's getting ready to turn your life around like never before. It takes this go big moment, my brothers and my sisters, my sons and my daughters. It takes this moment for you to decide, am I going to look like the world? Am I going to act like the world? Or am I going to be the church? Not just go to a, a social club on Wednesday and Sunday. I'm going to decide to live my life for Christ. The Holy One of Israel, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, I will live for God. I got about one minute, a little bit less than a minute. And I come to tell you in this season, you want to be blessed. You have to seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. You need to go big so God can take you back to your Garden of Eden experience. If this bless you, don't forget to send a cash app to cash app GBFIC or cash app Bishop Adam. Uh, God bless you. I love you because Jesus is Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at GBFIC.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900.
Greetings, beloved. This is Pastor Charles Bunn here at the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church located at 2200 Olive Street in the great city of Kansas City, Missouri. Get ready for the Next Steps Conference. That's right, transforming the church culture to minister in a post-pandemic paradigm. Kansas City and greater Kansas City, get ready for our Next Steps Revival this Friday night, August the 6th at 7 p.m. All roads lead to Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, 2200 Olive Street, where none other than Dr. Jamal Bryant, that's right, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant of New Birth out of Atlanta, will be preaching the first night of our revival for our Next Steps Conference, August the 6th, 7 p.m. Service starts directly at 7, praise and worship is 707, and then the preacher will be up. All roads lead to Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, 2200 Olive Street. Go to the website, nextstepsconference.com. You'll be glad you did. Want to have a say in Kansas City's development for decades to come? Now is your chance. The City of Kansas City, Missouri's planning department is calling on Kansas Cityans like you to share your vision for the city's future for the KC Spirit Playbook. The playbook aims to create a comprehensive plan by and for Kansas Cityans to ensure that our home is a thriving, people-centered community for future generations. Go to playbook.kcmo.org to use your voice. Back to the best gospel music. Your home for inspiration is gospel. 1590, 106.1 FM. A cry holy, holy Lord. So we cry holy, holy God. At the feet of my king, at the feet of the king, it's casting all the ring, round the throne of the Lord, they never get tired of it, never cease to sing, at the feet of King Jesus, at the feet of the king. 